Look, a lot of people make cakes to recipes, which is great, and that's amazing because they always taste like they're from a shop. But sometimes you just want to make a cake and you don't want to have to look up a recipe. I never use recipes, I just estimate. So I've got some flour here. I'm just going to pour it in. So there's, you know, there's a good, there's, you know, that much in there. Maybe a bit more. I've got this other flour here as well. It's self-raising. I don't know the self-raising versus whatever. Who knows what it does? I certainly don't. If you want to just look in what's, what spices you've got. So I've got some, some whole nutmegs. I've got some star anise. What else have I got in here? Cloves. I've got some cinnamon. So what you would do is, if you can be bothered, you would put, I'm not going to put this on the ironing board because it's going to break, but you'd put all these spices, whole spices in the mortar and pestle, just grind them up and um, chuck them in with your dry ingredients. So today I think I will use coconut oil. Yeah. <laughs> that looks nice. Mm. Okay. And then bananas are really good for making improvised cakes because bananas just hold everything together. I would use a couple of bananas for this unspecified amount of flour. Doesn't matter, we'll just go with the flow. Um, so we smash that all up. I'm just going to use an egg. Eggs are gross. We all know that. They're disgusting. I don't know why we eat them and why we think it's okay to eat them because they come out of a chicken and it's all very strange but we just ignore that and we eat them anyway. Um, um, I like to mix things with my hands. It's gross. I'm sorry. So basically when it's like that, you know, you can just chuck it in the tin. I'm going to grease it with some coconut oil. You can see that I've still got this gross hand. That's okay. I'll use my other hand. Again, using my hands. And I'll just grease that around. I feel like a three-year-old. You might want to sprinkle some shit on the top. I might put some walnuts on here. So... I'm just going to crumble them up in my hands, put it on there, and you can put it in the oven. The way you know a cake's ready, it smells, it just starts smelling good, then you just tap it on the top, it should like not cave in, and or you just put a fork in there and if it comes out clean, it's ready, you've got to take it out straight away. I have prepared one earlier. Oh god, it's so hard. It's fudge cake. Let me just have a try. Mmm, it needs to be warmed up. <laughs> 